There are three types of DLSS users, the purists running quality mode like it's 2020, and they still believe in future-proofing, the desperate dudes on Turing running ultra-performance because their GPU is from the Trump first term, and then there's me, who just got forced to use performance mode because DLSS 4.5 made it actually impressive. And I hate that NVIDIA was right about this one, because performance mode used to look like someone smeared Durex lube on my monitor and called it upscaling, but now, at 2K resolution, it genuinely looks better than fourth-balanced version in some games, which is absolutely unhinged. Thank you, NVIDIA, for finally using your AI tensor cores for actual AI instead of just marketing buzzwords though, only because AMD released a very good version of FSR4 and is already preparing a new one. Let me explain why performance mode went from unplayable garbage to something I actually recommend, and why you probably should be using and testing it too if you're gaming at 2K. So here's the context that Nvidia conveniently left out of their marketing materials. For years, performance mode was a scam. You were rendering at like 1100 by 1400 internal resolution on a 2K display, which is around 60% of native resolution. Then, DLSS would try to reconstruct the missing pixels using what can only be described as aggressive guessing. Text became unreadable. Distant objects shimmered like they were having an existential crisis. Hair looked like it was made of Play-Doh. Particle effects turned into blocky messes. And moving the camera fast would cause the entire image to fall apart into a stuttery artifact nightmare. Quality mode at 88% internal resolution looked okay. Balanced at 77% was acceptable if you squinted. But performance? That was the setting you used when your GPU was on fire and you needed 15 more frames to hit 60, not because it actually looked good. But then 4.5 dropped with the new Transformer model that NVIDIA was forced to release because of competition, and something genuinely changed. Community reports on Reddit, NVIDIA, and official forums started saying performance mode doesn't look like hot garbage anymore, which I obviously didn't believe because some gamers like to overreact, and it's usually copium. So I tested it myself across few games, and if you are a subscriber of my channel, you probably already know I hate being wrong. But here we are. NVIDIA actually shipped a good update for once. Tested at 2K on my RTX 5070, starting with Cyberpunk 20. 2077, because if DLSS looks bad anywhere, it's in Night City with all the neon reflections and particle spam. Loaded into the city center, max settings, path tracing enabled, switched between native, quality, balanced, and performance modes while driving around. Native looks like native, obviously. Quality mode is still the visual king. As you know, old version already improved clarity compared to native. Balanced looks nearly identical to quality in motion. Slight softness if you pixel peep, which you won't do unless you are desperate YouTuber hunting for views. Then performance mode, the setting that used to make my eyes bleed, and I genuinely had to double check I selected the right option because it looked way closer to balance than it had any right to. Neon signs stayed sharp, hair didn't turn into Play-Doh strands, reflections in puddles maintained detail, and when I whipped the camera around during combat, the image stayed stable instead of falling apart. This isn't minor improvement, this is night and day difference from DLSS 4. Move to Fortnite because competitive gamers care more about clarity than graphics, and performance mode maintained enemy visibility at distance without the shimmer and ghosting that used to get you killed in build fights. Then Alan Wake 2, footage of which you won't see there because I am lazy, basically a torture test for upscaling because of all the fog and volumetric effects and shadow detail. Performance mode handled the forest sections without turning distant trees into a shimmering mess. Flashlight shadows stayed coherent, and the fog didn't flicker like it used to. Stalker 2, another Unreal Engine slot game, but at least it looks good sometimes. Performance mode kept text readable in the menus and didn't destroy fine geometric detail on 8K bread, if you know what I mean. So what actually changed in 4.5 to make performance mode not suck? Nvidia upgraded from their first generation transformer to a second generation transformer model, which uses five times more compute power and was trained on way bigger high-fidelity datasets. DLSS 4 used preset J and K models that already had transformer architecture, but 4.5 introduces preset L and M, which are deeper, smarter versions of the same tech. The second-gen model has better understanding of every scene, using game engine motion data more intelligently to reconstruct lighting, edges, and motion clarity. This is why performance and ultra-variant modes specifically got massive upgrades, because when you're rendering at 67% internal resolution, having a smarter AI AI model makes huge difference in guessing what's supposed to be there. 4.5 delivers sharper anti-aliasing, so edges don't look jaggy when characters move, reduced ghosting so fast-moving objects don't leave trailing artifacts like they did in 4, and improved temporal stability so the image stays coherent between frames. The trade-off is preset M and L models need more GPU horsepower. You're losing about 2-20% to performance compared to DLSS 4, depending on your card, because the AI model itself is doing way more work per frame. RTX 40 and 50 series handle it fine because they have FP8 acceleration for the heavier math, but RTX 20 and 30 series take bigger hits, sometimes eating most of your performance gains. So older cards might want to stick with quality or balance, where the compute overhead is less noticeable. Now here's the part that genuinely bothers me. Performance mode at 2K with DLSS 4.5 looks better than native 4K with no upscaling in some games. Not all games, let's be clear, but in titles with good anti-aliasing and lots of fine detail like Cyberpunk or Alan Wake 2, performance mode reconstructs detail that isn't even in the native image because the AI model has been 
trained on ultra-high resolution reference data, which means NVIDIA has been holding back this technology for years while charging us $2,000 for GPUs that could barely run native 4K when they could have shipped better AI models earlier and made lower tier cards way more capable. But they didn't, because why sell you a 70 class card that runs 4K with DLSS when they can sell you a 90 class card for twice the price, or should I say quadrupled in our hard times? Classic NVIDIA artificial segmentation. But we still must thank NVIDIA that unlike AMD, they actually invest in AI upscaling research instead of just copying homework and calling it FSR. Right, AMD? Before the verdict, hardware specific notes. RTX 50 series gets the full benefit, basically zero visual compromise using performance mode at 2K. RTX 40 series also excellent, minor performance overhead, but image quality is there. RTX 30 series works, but takes bigger performance hit, maybe 5 to 10%. So test if performance mode actually gives you better frames than balanced mode. RTX 20 series. Honestly, just stick with quality or balanced. The transformer model is too demanding, and you'll lose most of your frame rate gains. Also, game-specific behavior. Multiplayer shooters in future like Fortnite and COD benefit the most because you get frames without losing enemy visibility. Single-player story games like Alan Wake 2 and Cyberpunk look stunning even in performance mode. And competitive esports titles like Valorant or Counter-Strike don't even need DLSS because they're not demanding enough. Just run native. My comment section is probably already roasting me for saying performance mode looks good, but someone has to test the slop and report back, and needs more verification reports from you if you're running different hardware. Here's my verdict after testing across few games in several days. If you're gaming at 2K with RTX 40 or 50 series, at least try to use DLSS 4.5 performance in some. You get 30 to 50% higher frames, and image quality is actually playable now. Quality still slightly better paused, but motion difference minimal, not worth performance cost. Balanced feels like unnecessary compromise. RTX 30 or older, I don't recommend using it at all, as was previously said in my other video. NVIDIA proved raw power matters less than AI reconstruction. Future GPUs focus tensor cores over rasterization, but potato render AI won't fix lazy Unreal Engine 5 slop devs. I tested all modes, compared pixels, and checked reports from real users so you know which settings work before graphics menu time waste. Subscribe to Bypass Placebo Optimizations. See you in the next one.